Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today, what I want to talk to you about as we go into this new moon energy, and a lot of people are feeling this intensely. It's highly physical, meaning it is affecting your physical body. This has a lot to do with the topic of today's video, the divine masculine and divine feminine balancing your power so that your love is love squared. Does anyone remember this little equation from high school physics, high school science class, Albert Einstein, E equals MC squared? Well, what happens when love is squared? You create that third energy. You're not going to accomplish much of what you want to do unless you're capable of creating that third energy. And no matter how much you go throughout the world going, I'm going to white like this, I'm going to white like that, I'm sending love over there. You're missing the point if you are not gathering yourself in to be unified for your twin flame union. So that's another thing to know is that emotions will run high. You're going to have a lot of emotions throughout this patch of time. Not only that, your twin is going to start going through their stuff. So the very thing that you may have wished for, okay, be careful what you wish for, because how it plays out in the physical is very odd, okay? I can say this from personal experience because 2018 is a year I never want to repeat. 2018 was uh, weird, especially in the beginning. How many people felt the energy drop? Like It was just like, drop the mic. And you felt it just recently, okay? That's your first unplugging. You're going to have several unpluggings from the old paradigm. What you do in it, though, is going to significantly influence how the two of you feel because there's two of you, okay? There are two of you coming to a convergence point. Now, I want to debunk a couple of things here that are being said. Um, first of all, twin flames are intended to come together and are intended to live together. The speed at which you go is not always determined by me, but there is a plan and you're a part of that plan. You signed on for the plan. You did it before you agreed to incarnate here. You did it by coming exactly into the type of family that was going to help you conclude your karma, your karmic connections, anything that's happened in the past. And so this energy is actually, um, this energy is an eight, okay? The eight is completion and balancing. So we have an eight energy here, okay? But it's also nine. This is going to be for purification, your body, your twin's body, and your shared parts. That's one thing that a lot of people need reminding of is that you may have been through a lot, but your twin has their body too. And if they're still doing stuff, they're going to start their own purification process. This energy is also going to be about the energy of taking it for granted. Okay. You're never, ever, ever going to take anything for granted again. Now, that's a little bit different from the level of an angelic because what it means is being vigilant, um, avoiding crisis, avoid, avoiding problems, doing your best to maintain. That's the second piece of this. This is why I teach about the body so that not only do I help people get through the physical and metaphysical things, but in teaching you how to maintain it so that it becomes effortless for you, so that your genuine nature is actually coming and welling up in you and letting you know not just who you are, but what to do. That's why I'm teaching people. I've already had people graduating and already getting together with their twins. Isn't it your turn? So come and join. So the taking it for granted, you're not to take your health for granted. And a lot of people do. Like you could take someone who um, drinks alcohol or smokes and they might say, you know what? 
there's medicines, there's Chantix, there's um, different things I can do. I can always quit. But what I'm going to tell you is, as you close the old paradigm, that level where you can live with a chronic illness or chronic condition, no, you can't. Not if you're going to be in your physical union. No, you can't. You're not going to babysit each other. You're not going to be each other's mommy and daddy in the old ways. You care for each other. You stave off the crises. You address things as they come up. You're not going to take your health for granted. You cannot let success go to your head. It's absolutely imperative that you're a successful being. Just being here and being at this point lets you be successful to an extent. There's still further success. And we see this. People go into excess. They start getting successful. They get foolish about you know, um, their relationships. They get with the wrong people. They squander things. That is not intended to happen for your union. You take your family for granted. Are you even giving any gratitude for being born? Okay. You don't have to like, you know, thank your family for abusing you. But if someone gave birth to you so you could get here and finish this, that's something you don't have to grab. Gratitude is not groveling. Gratitude is simply saying, thank you. I acknowledge you. And we're done. Maybe you're done with that part. But if you have children, there's a lot of people that have excluded their biological family, but then have kids. What do you think carries on in the family? Your kids are going to have patterns, and then you're going to wind up getting that karmic two by four upside your head and finding out that, whoops, uh, my karma has followed me. Okay, so it's best to address these things, and there are ways to do it properly. Do not take your journey for granted. There's a lot of people that would like to rest on your laurels. And I can tell you this from personal experience. Don't ever rest on your laurels. Be willing to learn. Be willing to be new. Be willing to expand. That being said, there will be times of expansion and contraction. You're getting squeezed through and shoved through a pretty big portal here. So the things that happened for me last year, okay, um, I spent New Year's Eve actually watching Jeff Dunham's show. I wanted to laugh. He's a comedian. He works with um, puppets. The place was packed. I was a little worried how I would be in a uh, room with 11,000 people, or I think it was more than that. But regardless, and about 20 minutes before the show ended, I felt the energy lift up, and suddenly the feel of it was the fun is over. <laughs> I didn't know what it was all going to mean, but it became highly physical. I developed strep throat twice. I broke out in hives entirely from head to toe. I took photos of myself um, as evidence that what's happening, my central nervous system, my skin got, and I went through a series of feeling old and dying like I hadn't even believed. So even though I had done videos on dying a thousand deaths to be here, this was nothing compared to what I went through. Now, at the same time, I'm still a mom and my nerves are giving out. You know, I'm thinking, how am I going to drive a car? How am I going to take my child to school and things like that? This is something we don't always consider. How are you going to get through your day with your responsibilities, with the things that you already signed on for? It's fine and dandy when people are living in a cabin in the woods and, you know, they're off the grid and, you know, they ride into town every once in a while for their supplies or something. Okay. But what about for people that, you know, you already have a life that you're either sustaining or that you're breaking down so that you can be with your twin. What about that? You are in a huge transition and you are walking the tightrope between the old realm and the brand new. And there is a new level, you are getting up leveled, and you have to rise to the challenge. How do you do it when all these things are happening? Not only that, we had several other things happen because at the same time, internally, the twin was getting situated. The child was going through some stuff having to do with puberty. It was like this, boom, bang, this, that, and the other thing all at once. Okay? 
you may not know what to do because this is actually cosmic level stuff. I know what to do. I know how you build up on the inside. If you need to go to the doctor, please do go to the doctor. There's a lot of good doctors, but even the doctors will not be able to tell you the metaphysical stuff. So here's what I'm going to say about it. When it's metaphysical, the doctors will not find anything, which is good news for you. Um, if they do find something, please address it. And it could be something very simple, okay? A depletion of something. Um, it could point to something very serious. We all have things that run in our family that you are not intended to carry into your union. Now, I talk about these things in my webinars because my webinars are an overview of what's happening, what's going on with your body, but they're also what to do, what things will support you in terms of herbs and essences and how to eat and what you should do. And if you're not slowing down to pay attention about this, or you're trolling around on the internet, please come see me. Either join my webinar, there's part two on the 20th, Twin Flame Ascension, the topic is spiritual intensity and what happens with your body, okay? And this encompasses the fatigue and ex exhaustion. It's not fun, and it can make you sick. And if it goes unaddressed, it can make you further sick. So if you want to find the most fastest way to get through this stuff, it's time to start joining the real twin flame that you are with the real twin flame specific information, okay? There's nothing against some of the stuff out there, but a lot of people think, oh, twin flames, that's just the newest new age concept until it happens to them. And then they're like, what the hell happened to me? Well, what is happening to you? Right now, you're balancing your power. You're gearing up to be able to not only contain, sustain, but create the third energy that brings real transformation, real healing. And it's not in the lower chakras. It starts in your high heart chakra right here. So if you are all tight, you can't breathe, you're going, you're feeling sick, you have an upper body something, inflammation, bronchitis, sinus, cold, something that feels like flu. It is not just the flu and not against people uh, getting it addressed medically. They should. You have to address these things in every way possible that you have available to you. One day I want to be able to take this to where it really counts into hospitals to help people recover from. They don't even know what they were recovering from, but I do. When I work with people, I feel your past lives, and it is a bit like a regression to go back to see what is it that first ailed you to begin with, or what is it that happened to your twin that ailed you to begin with. So my other pre-recorded webinar, Being in the New Life, is going to be very helpful for you. This addresses uh, things, topics that you need to know about your stomach, your esophagus, breathing on the inside, your spirit body, why the spiritual intensity. This is very detailed. This, The links are all down below. And you, I highly recommend that you schedule a causal body session with me because in the session, I do address what it will take for you to get to the next state. I highly recommend getting an energetic session with me four times that we spread out. Now that may sound like a lot. And for a lot of people, they might be sending, saying, well, I'm not sure that I can do that. Well, I'm just going to tell you some of the people I talk to, they've come to me sort of last after they've been to other places trying to get things fixed. And they've already spent money on it because here in the United States, you know, the healthcare, there's sometimes co-pays or medicines. And a lot of times we can knock it out fairly quickly. If you need to go to the doctor, I will feel that also, and I will recommend it to you. And I will help you narrow it down as to it feels to be in this general area. Is it heart? Is it your gut? Does it have to do with addictions that your twin has? You are not, you are purifying because you're not carrying those things forward. 
any kind of addictions, smoking, drinking, drugs, certain medicines that you will be weaning off of, not everything right away, but some um, visual sexy stuff, okay? Or actual gambling, risk-taking, um, rolling the dice, squandering money, self-sabotaging. People are addicted to these things. Picking fights with people, being a rageaholic. There's a whole list. How do you get it out of your union? I know how, okay? And it doesn't happen one time with waving a magic wand. This is why I say it's best to have a session where we can have a plan. We address this part, this part, this part, and you do it sequentially so that you cut to the chase. Three to four sessions will make a significant difference for you. And I teach you how to get your channels open so that you're continuing in the in-between times and you're circulating the energy. So if, you, if you're just joining and this is fairly new to you and you're kind of baffled and you're saying, what is Patricia talking about? Really, I, I don't really know. Well, you're new to this maybe, but I would bet if you looked all the way back to childhood, you would find it's not really new to you. It's just answering some things for you. But go back over some of my videos. I've been doing videos on these topics since 2014. There's roughly 330 videos, and uh, it's a lot of material to take in. But this year of 2019, this is where the door is opening, and there's a blank canvas. It's up to you to paint what you want. But if you want more of the same old, you're going to keep rolling around in that spin cycle, rinsing and rinsing until you're clean and purified. You can do it the easy way or you could do it the hard way, but you'll still get there. And, you know, if you lag behind, your higher self is going to say, well, hey, you know, I guess you need more time to process that. Some people do. Some people do. I can tell you that starting from the beginning of last year, so this same time frame a year ago, I was going through stuff where it took a lot of getting still, a lot of tuning in, a lot of meticulous self-care, and I documented it. It is in my webinars to make it easy for you. So thanks so much for watching. I know this one sounds a little bit um, bossy, but it, it's starting to happen, ladies and gentlemen. It is happening. The, well, it's the very thing that you wanted, but it's just weird, like a lot of this stuff. So if you're sitting there saying, when is life going to be normal again? All I want is something normal. Okay, get ready. Come and make yourself normal so that you can have normal because you actually have a new normal and all that stuff is not your new normal. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. The links are below and I'm available at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com, my website, twinflamesmerge.com. And my other website, Twin Flame Body, which is my store um, for supplements that are helpful. It's, it is um, in the process of being fine-tuned right now. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you so much to everyone who bought my book. I hope that you find it very helpful. That is my intention, is to help. That was my promise. I'm here to help. And I'm here to get people back in love. Please don't forget it's about love. Be the lover. Be the lover who is relentless. Okay, just like that old poem. Love is relentless like death. Okay, but we don't want it to feel like death warmed over. I don't want you to feel like death warmed over. Okay, that's uh, I think part of the old song of Solomon. So thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.